Hello everybody, this is Beast from Beast of Gaming 69 and I am here with my part one walkthrough of Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition. Just want to make sure the volume is up for everybody. Uh, I'm not exactly going to be using the start weapons because I really don't feel like starting over again. It's like the fifth time I would have to do that. But, uh, second, I'm working on angling the screen perfectly. We'll be playing 1-1. That looks good for me. I'm not going to talk through cutscenes just so that, you know, everybody can hear everything. seen it coming. It didn't take long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation for their bioweapons to end up in the hands of terrorists. A new era of bioterrorism descended upon vulnerable countries, shifting the balance of power throughout the region. People in the destabilized areas soon feared another incident like Raccoon City was inevitable. As panic spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium, which formed the Anti-Terrorism Unit, BSAA. Operatives of the BSAA were sent to infiltrate and neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. Welcome to Africa. My name is Sheva Alamo. Chris Redfield. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Redfield. It's an honor. Just Chris, thanks. So you'll be accompanying me to the destination? Yes. Tensions are running high ever since the change in government. I'll bet. Intel says it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American. BSAA or not. That's why I'm your partner. Help put them at ease. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine. continue to mount over the long years I've struggled. More and more I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. Maybe one day I'll find out. Hey, hey! You don't have to get touchy. Let's go. There is one thing I do know. I have a job to do, and I'm gonna see it through. Okay, well, with the first cutscene over, I can finally get to speaking here. About time. That's like a two minute cutscene, guys. I, like, not kidding. <laughs> The only reason I'm doing this with my weapons and all that is because my phone doesn't record very long clips. So you can understand my point of I just want to get through this stuff as fast as I can. This I can talk through because it doesn't really say anything, but you notice everybody's gone. And does a little zoom out here like it does in Resident Evil 4. Bit of a Resident Evil 4 Easter egg. Oh, this is where 
the player would first playing this game realize that you know things just went very badly. Everybody look, it's Nikolai's lost brother from Call of Duty Zombies. I swear, he looks like he could be a double for Nikolai. Just put some combat boots on him and he really could just double for him. You too. This way. Maybe because of the new government, the people around here are a little on edge. You should do what you came in to do. Go home. Yeah, they really roll out the red carpet for us Americans. I have your weapons for you here. Check them. Have your weapons. The operations are already started. Not that I need it. I have this thing. <laughs> Destination coordinates. Down squares up ahead. Go through there. Alpha team's waiting at the deal location. Good. And what do you know about Uroboros? Mostly just rumors. Something about visions of a doomsday project. Doomsday sounds about right. And apparently it is no rumor. You're kidding, right? You must find a man named Irving. He is our only lead. Be careful out there. Remember, we're a team. Whatever happens, we stick together. Don't worry. I may not be as big as you, but I can still help. Money shot. About after this cut scene, I'll probably cut it. Locals were hostile and we had to use force. 
We don't have any contingency plans for this situation, do we, Kirk? Roger on the locals, but your orders still stand. What does that mean? Was HQ expecting this? 